Hello. On the 27th of May, I recorded a number of journals, and I rather like them. It was a really neat flow. And this was the first one. Uh, the day was a one crocodile or alligator, and that's a really special vibration or energy. That's the end of the, the Tzolkan year or cycle and the beginning of a brand new one. It's the beginning of the new one. So this is called Life Has the Right to Be and You're Bigger Than That. Hope you enjoy it. We are all manipulated to a certain extent by both entities and conscious beings invisible to the huge proportion of embodied mankind. That's just the way of life, just like the fact that our gut is heavily populated by friendly bacteria, if we're healthy, and the fact that there's a whole community of microscopic life resident within the community of our skin. Now, can we please begin to get over our squeamishness about this? It's one of those things that just because human eyesight unaided cannot pick this up, we want to pretend that it doesn't happen, doesn't exist. Time to grow up for our senses are expanding and opening now and I don't want you having any shocking surprises. So let's start facing things now. What do you say? Are you game? It's only what is. We're a bit like a, a babe playing a game of peekaboo with life and that's fine but it's time to grow up. Big grown-up stuff is on coming soon and we need to be prepared. So let's start with this small stuff. Let's start with the reality that there's life everywhere. Did you ever look at your cheese under a microscope? <laughs> I realize this is freaking some of you out. Do you realize it's a living, moving, breathing community? Your cheese is palpably, visibly alive, dears. There. Now, how does that feel? Take a moment and get used to it. No, don't run away. We've been doing that far too long. Time to wake up. Stand, face, and conquer. Yes, this is part of waking up, too. Not just growing up. It's just part of seeing what is. Maybe now is a good time for this reminder. It is what it is. And it doesn't care much what you think of it. Get used to that, accepting what is. The reality is that it's all beautiful. But before you can see that, you must look at this. Just take a willing look at that which simply is. It won't hurt you, you know. Shocked, though you might be, and maybe even disgusted, you'll get over that. All life has the right to be, you know. Even you ever consider that? It's all just a matter of perspective, too. Consider that. There are those who, in their process of waking up, have made a case for the perspective that, to Gaia, we're just some sort of parasite a colony, a cancer that's gotten quite out of hand, needs to be brought back to balance. Now, while I don't agree for a moment that Gaia sees us this way at all, it's a legitimate angle of sight, exercise in perspective. We're creatures of vision, my friends, and how we see things much more than what they are determines everything. How we see things is or can be the difference between heaven and hell. Please realize that. It's accurate. Heaven and hell, a matter of perspective. Sounds like a good title for something, ho-ho. Powerful stuff, this vision thing. Everyone's got it. This ability to see and to visualize. But few people know it, much less use it and so few use it wisely. Let's join those few. 
Actually, it's time to make those few the many. Time to wake up. Time to take off those controller-installed blinders, my friends, that have you willing to see only the light, willingly. Seeing the dark is, uh, has either been forced or a fiction. Movies are good, yet time to grow up. Our life's a far grander, far better movie than any that there's ever been. Star Wars comes close, but it's still so far away as to seem like playing with Tinker Toys next to real life. Now, many of you tell me on the inner, you want to see more, want to see like I do. I say fine then, let's do that, but first, before you can't limit vision, it's the bad stuff that comes with the supposedly good, and vision means seeing them all. And I can prove it, sort of. Imagine this, the sun shining on only the good little children, not on the bad ones. What sense does that make, right? That's right, no sense at all, not even heart sense, much less any mind sense. So let's clear that up. Let's set our intent to be willing to see that which is out there. No more than that, sound okay? Just that which already is. No need to make up this stuff. Reality's far finer and cooler than that. Now, as you may have sensed, if you're observant, remember little birdie on the shoulder? Fear underlies. It's fear we've been taught to respond with when considering that which the eyes don't detect. Well, to hell with that. 